Andy Foyer is a French mining engineer, mining executive, author and director of Mine, graduated from Mining Academy. He identified five common activities manager engaged in, which is planning, organizing, staffing, directing and controlling. He also synthesized 14 principles of management, which is division of work, authority and responsibility, discipline, unit of command and etc. Max Weber is a German psychologist, philosopher, jurist, and political economist. He studied at University of Heidelberg and University of Berlin. He created a theory of bureaucracy, which is specialized role recruitment based on merit, uniform principle of placement, promotion, and transfer in an administrative system, careerism with system, salary structure, and etc. Mitchell is an American physiologist. He, is, he received Bachelor of Art and Master of Art. He taught in Kunshot College, Wesleyan University, Harvard University, and Boston University. He worked on need theory, which is need to have achievement, needs, need for affiliation, and power. From the theory, we know that people who need for achievement, they prefer working on tasks of moderate difficulty. For need of affiliation, they spend time creating and maintaining social relationships, enjoying being part of the group and have desire to feel loved and acceptable. For the need for power, they enjoy work and place a high value on discipline. Based on the task in this section, we are required to describe or provide our viewpoints on McClellan Trinity's theory into today's approach. As far as we know, people who are related to management have problems and fail to manage their work properly. It is happened because in majority people nowadays do not do much research to strengthen their skills in management even though there are many resources that we can get from the internet. In our study, we can see that the theories published by McClellan which are known as McClellan Trinity's theory are very useful to many people. In his theory, there are three things which are achievement, power and affiliation. First theory is an achievement which is means a thing done successfully with effort, courage and skills. An achievement is a very important thing that everybody should get. With achievement, there will be automatically be competition for each other to reach their target as well as they want to rise up their image. To gain an achievement, people have to face many things or in other words, is risk. Secondly, one of the theory is power, which is means the ability or capacity to do something or act in a particular way. Based on our opinion, by having power, we can do what we want in our life. Having power too will make a person have a great deal of influence and everything will be easy for them as they have high influence. With great power, a person also has the right to make any decision in any matter. Last but not least, the one of 
The important theory is affiliation, which is means the act of connecting or associating with a person and organization. We can see people nowadays more prefer to affiliation, especially in management activities. Having affiliation in doing work can help people to do their job go easy and fast. By having affiliation in a company or an organization, also can create a cooperative attitude towards one and another. To conclude, in this section, we feel that McLellan Tree Needs theory is very useful to all of us in managing things. It is helping people who are handling business in a company as it will guide the employees in doing the right job. First, achievements can be a good motivator to the employees. It will help the employee to work hard to get the promotion. Next is affiliation. Affiliation can help the relationship between employees. This also can make the work operation to be more smoothly. Lastly, power also can be a motivator to people. For example, a company gives an employee a promotion for their hard work and the promotion also applying with the power. That's all for me. Thank you. McLellan Trinity Theory gives many advantages for business organization. First, employees are given tasks according to their needs. The biggest advantage of this theory is motivating employees because the, the company are given tasks according to the needs. In addition, McLellan Trinity Theory provides a clear picture for the organization and manager to know which type of job is suitable for the employees and which type of people that can make their organization more successful. After that, it can satisfy employees. If employees do not get the desired job profile, then it will result in the unsatisfied employees. In simple words, companies adopting McLellan theory in the organization ensure that the company has satisfied employees which in the long run can prove to be a great asset to the company. Another advantage for this theory are no scope for any excuse. Since employees are given work according to their needs, there is no scope for any excuse because if the company is giving work profile to employees according to their needs, then they cannot put the blame of failure on the company as they were given work of their choice. Lastly, McLellan Needs Theory provides an understanding to, the, to deal with employees. How to deal with different type of employees? People with high level of achievement are suitable to become salesperson as their preferred challenging tasks. People with high need for affiliation are suitable to hold a position of customer service representative as they are good in maintaining interpersonal relationship. Person with high need of power are suitable to hold former supervisor position as they have influence over other people in the organization. This theory also has disadvantage when used in organization. The needs of achievement, power and affiliation can make someone influence to doing the better work and give the good performance in work. But in different time, this theory gives disadvantage to the top manager and subordinates to cooperate effectively. It is because the instructions given are against the rules. For example, the top manager used need of power in giving direction that the subordinate or workers become trapped and also will cause the transmission, transmission of information to be effective. Next, the advantage, this theory is to not take the basic needs. 
the basic needs including food, shelter and safety. This theory just focus on needs for achievement, power and affiliation. Well, in the organization, not only this need to focus, but also other needs to be focused. This uh, primary needs to be satisfied first before thinking about satisfying other needs. If the company puts too much emphasis to this theory, it will cause less damage. For example, workers are more motivated to work if their manager offer comfortable economy, accommodation and meal allowance. The conclusion that we conclude in this segment is first, David McGillan is American psychology and he is pioneer thinking work motivation, developing theory based in achievement and motivation model. McGillan's most famous story is about three type motivation identified in his work, The Achieving Society. Then, we will know that McGillan's story was related with Maslow hierarchy theory. Based on the resume by Ronald 1990, McGillan's concept of achievement motivation is also related to Hesburgh motivation hygiene theory. And Hesburgh argues that only the goal objective associated with Maslow ego status and self Actualizations needs provide motivation or satisfaction on the job. Besides, in this research, in this research, we have to learn about McLean theory and what the element and the importance of theory uh, in employees for employees. In the overall, McLean theory has been used and trust in industry work in business work for almost 60 years this story is one of most importance for any entrepreneur or employees this story can have great impact to entrepreneur in doing business and em employees can do their job better this indirectly has positive impact on the business they can think ahead and make a best decision in any situation because all they needs was fulfilled.